Foxtel, Latina, Jay's. Facebook cut us off. I don't know why. I was talking about some damn uh, gorilla glue. Yeah, we didn't say nothing. Maybe I said white people too many times. No. Well, I know that that shit obviously works. Okay. Yeah, um, that shit obviously works. The gorilla glue. Yeah. It works well, and that doctor did a great job. He you know what? I heard that the um, he's going to partner with uh, Gorilla Glue to do a adhesive to help people get it removed for situations like that. That would be cool. Yeah, let's wait until we get some more folks in here and get our people back. Yeah, people. We're sorry. Facebook. Because... Show this data. Well, why are they trying to see if what's going on? How y'all doing out there? <laughs> I feel like we made it. We got cut off. Right? Yay! We must be trending! <laughs> okay, well, while we're waiting, um, I want to wait, though. Until we get well, people back keep in here. Waiting, you know? So we just look like we ain't doing nothing. Yeah, nothing. we look like we ain't doing nothing, y'all. Okay, well, they'll uh, catch me and watch. So, let's talk about P. Diddy. So P. Diddy is suing, Sean P. Diddy Combs is suing his old clothing company, uh, Sean John. <laughs> Why? Because they're, because you know he sold it and oh, then they're uh -huh. using his image and name. Oh, they're still using his image? Yeah, but what's crazy is when, when he sold it, did he not think that they wouldn't use his name? Like, would they if they was going to come up with a whole new name and brand, and they could have made their own clothes? Yeah. yeah. Would have just made their own clothes? That's why you don't sell your shit. So, that's confusing to me. But he's suing for, guess how much? I don't know. $25 million. That seemed kind of little. The man basically suing his damn self. Well, not technically. But he's suing Sean, <laughs> Isn't that crazy though? Yeah, that because funny. they're using his image and his name, but like you said, they wouldn't have brought the company if it wasn't going to be for that. But don't they have to pay him to use his image and his name? Well, maybe that's why he's so mad because they didn't pay him. But I ain't seen no Sean John and no story. Yeah, I ain't seen no Sean John and no story. <laughs> Not online. It's None a, of it. So, it's uh, uh, <laughs> they must uh, sell that shit in Times Square only. I yeah, because I, I, when I said that, I was like, man. first I was like, you know, ain't that your clothing line? Then I went deeper. I didn't know he had sold the company. But yeah, I was like, I, just like I, I don't see Rocket Rear. I don't see Fat Farm. You know, like. Yeah. I don't see none of them. them the see, that's messed up. They buy the company and then cut them off. And then with some cool brands. But anybody who's now is going to be the company that brought, uh, but, brought it. Yeah. That's true. I, I ain't seen it since he sold it. Mm -hmm. It's like I ain't, I ain't seen a Jerry Criminal and I ain't seen Sean John Clothing in a while. Right. You want to hit about Britney Spears? We're talking about <laughs> yes, Britney Spears. Leave Britney, Leave alone. Britney alone. For real, like I, I feel so bad for her. Like for real, she is 39 years old. Her dad still controls everything. Like she literally can't buy a pack of gum without his permission. She can't go nowhere without his permission. And it's ridiculous that they're doing this one like that. Give her her life back. Like for real. She don't need him watching over her anymore. She had a mental breakdown many years ago after she lost custody of her kids and got divorced. Leave this woman alone. Let her be. This is ridiculous. They already stole her childhood from her. Let her have her adulthood at, at least. It's she her was, money. Let her have her life back. It's ridiculous. She, she do need to have her money though. She Ooh, do. I did. And, and if she's able to perform and make millions of dollars, she's fully capable of taking care of herself and deciding if, you if know she wants what? to buy a pop or not. I hate to tell you this, but if somebody else was over my money, and they thought I was crazy. I wouldn't be doing no more shows. And he get my money. Mm -mm. No but way. She want to continue to make that money. Why it? make it? She can't even spend it. I guess you could spend it with stipulations. 
Like, yeah, the dad has to make the decision yeah. for She's her. making it for She her. probably going to have to go get a regular job with us regular folks. Yeah, well, she, she's been she got, for too long. But look, yeah. she got all that money already. If he's providing her with... Because I wouldn't be continuing to make money that I can't have. That don't make no sense. Right. I mean, at least she has access to some kind of money. She still got this. Then she said she can't even buy some gum. But she has to get permission. But she has to get permission, but she has that chance to buy the gum. But she well, shouldn't have, have any but money. That, but she shouldn't even Would have you to want do some No, I'm not saying that she shouldn't. That she should have to go through that. I'm saying if she was to quit working, she wouldn't have any money. Well, she would not get a regular job. Because what is he doing with all her money she already got? She ain't been able to spend it. Oh, hey, uh, Justin, you late to the party. We got a whole video that <laughs> cut us off. Now we back on. <laughs> yeah, we So go watch over. that, the, pre the first video, please. Thank you for tuning in. Um, but some people... Need looking like she didn't mess with it. She didn't stole Char Jackson's husband, had a mental breakdown. Well, that didn't last too long because her karma came quick. After but that's that. what I'm saying. I'm saying that's karma. But she's well, 39 years karma. though. Like, well, maybe she getting karma for a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny, but maybe. I still say, you know. But enough time has passed. Charge moved on. Kevin moved on. He's married to a whole other woman now. Has more kids. Let this woman be. Not saying like, let this woman be. That people shouldn't move on. Just saying, like it could be. Uh, it's a big payback. I think it's time that you know she's. I think she's had enough punishment. Let that woman live. Obviously, she. Did. Oh, and they talked about how Justin Timberlake like took advantage, made her seem out to be the bad guy when they broke up and did the whole Crimea River thing. That's and, my and they also talked about how he threw Janet under the bus during the Super Bowl. He definitely and, did. That. And so I he apologized that. today to both Brittany and Janet. Well, it sure took a long time to apologize to Janet. Yeah, he that's left, what her, said. He left her hanging. I ain't like him since he pulled that off when he did that to her. I we doing good, Justin. How are you? Yeah, thank you for asking, Justin. We are doing good. Well, well we're doing thank well. You. Yes. Um. Yeah, but Janet. Yeah, he did show her her. Yeah, yeah, she got, got she like, only one got for her. Her. He yeah. had to move on like yeah. two yeah. years later at the Super Bowl, yeah. but she got banned. Yeah. And he was the one who ripped it off of her. Mm -hmm. It was just wrong. It was just wrong. But anyways, free Britney. Good. Free <laughs> Britney. Oh no, I I just like saying that. Okay, so Oh, you was out in the cold. There's too cold be out there. Maybe it's cold <laughs> outside. Justin. Um, you don't need to be out there if well, unless it's necessary, I guess. Um, all right. So, any other? Oh, Kiki White. We talked about her a few weeks ago about her negative comments about the black community and how black folks are the only folks uh, oppressed and what Christopher Milan went off on of her and they had a little thing online. I gotta pull that up. Um, oh, I'm gonna read so this. So apparently, she back. tried to apologize and he clapped back at her. But it's too late, Kiki. You too late. You kicked the curb. But it, it was funny because she went on the show that will not be named and said that uh, um, she was sorry to her sister. She could say her uh, white mom and her black dad raised her to be a black woman. Well, no, that's not what you were saying when you were on the show. When you were over talking Christopher Milan, you wouldn't let him get a word in. And he clapped back in the comments because she had her little crocodile. She was crying. Girl, to the girl. Was that's what she used to do all the R&B divas. We was crying. Yeah, reading crying. Watching yeah. your video, you talking so about was. Bye, Kiki. But I want to read what Milan said in response because he clapped back hard at her because she wouldn't let him get a word in edgewise. And now all of a sudden, now that you realize that it was the black communities that built your career, you want that show crying and talking about some of you a black woman and you don't want to hurt nobody. You know but, what uh, she is? She an undercover Republican because no. that's just what they do. Well, look, oh, well, 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 I'm tired of them crying and then once we get on your ass, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a black person. No, when she said she was a sneak, sneak when she's actually a Karen. Uh, yeah, like, and, and yeah, like Milan said. said, he said, girl, fucking please, you can save those crocodile tears for the Jews and Mexicans whose oppression you speak so highly about. You didn't have an ounce of remorse to the black lives or interest in the black history when I was speaking to you about it. 
something that should have touched at least one half of your half black bone marrow. When I mentioned black people's adversities, you was rolling your eyes, smacking your lips, and telling me I'm too pro-black. Yeah. Now you're sorry. You can save the charade for the weirdos who will continue to let you smack them in the face and then fake cry and give you a hug uh, like the everyday typical Karen that you are respectful. Okay. <laughs> he read her for filth because that's like, honestly, that's the truth. Like, you are acting like a Karen. You are not acting like a black yeah. woman. Yeah. Like, black people don't gaslight other communities when they speak of their oppression. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you were uh, gaslighting him and all he was saying was, you know, he's black, he's not biracial like you, honey. He was speaking on his black experience and the experience of black people and you snapped on him because you felt some type of way. That says a lot. If you consider yourself a black person, you should have been on his side and agreeing with him, but no, you don't. You was being a Karen. And, and I uh, say, I'm with him, save the crocodile tears and you showed us who you are, Karen. Yeah. Kiki, we do not love you. <laughs> We don't want you, KK. Yeah, don't try to come across. We're not like, we was the only ones riding for you. Yeah, let's break from Kiki. Do you love me? Nope. Whatever. We don't, Kiki. <laughs> no, Kiki. Uh, <laughs> and then I, I did not put this in our topics, but I posted on our page about the police officer. Did you see that? Oh yeah, that committed suicide. Clyde Kerr the third. He was forty three, and um, he was a, a police officer in Lafayette and he died of suicide this past Monday. Um, he made a series of videos talking about police brutality and how they don't care about black people and it's just really bothering him. And um, he committed suicide because of that. It was stressing him out. Mm -hmm. He said how he loved being a police officer, mm -hmm. but he did not like how the system treated he, black he people. He said the demonic criminal justice system and the killings of black men, including George uh, Floyd. Mm -hmm. And he said, I can't abide by this no more. I'm not having anything to do with this nonsense no more. And he said how he um, had to talk with his son before about how to handle police. You know, if you, if you ever float over, if you ever come in contact with them. Basically he's how black he's, he's black. He's black. Oh, yeah. wow. Now, you know, something now here isn't right if, if people are going to suicide because of the mistreatment of their people. And it's a lot of cops that commit suicide, mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. So much for Blue Lives Matter. All right. Um, I think our friends, I don't know if they cop back on for the second video. Oh, I'm just to say, trying to. Um, but y'all ready for the Ask Mama J? Oh, yes, here we go. All right. So we had a few questions come through. And... <laughs> Question one, Mama J. What should I do if I don't get along with my child's spouse? So what do you think a, a, a parent should do if they don't get along with the person that their kid is dating? I'm going to be honest. Get her off. No. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You're not supposed to um, be in the middle of it. That's, you know, to be honest, you're not supposed to. So I try not to get in my kid's business unless they come to me. Mm -hmm. But really, that the parents should stay out of this kid's love life. You, you'll tell your kid how you feel, but... Only if they ask, you. though. I don't just be all up in their yeah, business. But yeah. once they, they tell me, tell you. Yeah. I'm up in it. I really yeah. am. But really, it's not our place to be in that business. I think it could be a tough situation. Like, if my daughter had a, a boyfriend that I didn't agree with, of course, I would still be there for my daughter and I guess um, I guess I could be around I could tolerate the spouse hell I'll tolerate some my sibling spouse <laughs> you know so what do you think what do you get along with Elijah's girlfriend I would of At course still time. be there for my son but I'm like keep her over there keep her away over there that's what I would do if I didn't like her like keep her over there Cause I'm not, but I'm not going to interfere in his relationship. I'm not going to tell him not to be with him. I want my son to be happy with whoever makes him happy, even if she, even if I don't like her. I you think know? you'll be cool with them though, because like yeah, I, I can, I can along, pretty I much mean, get along yeah, with anybody. With but our siblings, but yeah, I can pretty much get along with anybody, even the siblings uh, whose spouses have been foul. I've gotten along with. You know, <laughs> I usually can get around along with anybody, but yeah, I, I just want my son to be happy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't interfere. All right, Mama J, question two. Okay, so somebody said, I found out my ex is pregnant, but I'm in a new relationship, and I haven't told my girlfriend. What advice do you have? 
Oh wow. I think I would tell the new girlfriend best to tell her now mm -hmm. and then to hold up. See if she anything. is okay with that. Mm -hmm. That's not like uh, what happened on Insecure. Mm -hmm. Tell her. That's what I would do. Tell her. Tell her. Let her decide. Yeah. Let her decide. still be with you. I mean, if you're afraid of her leaving you, I think it'd be worse if you leave. Don't and don't yeah. send that. All right, and then question three this is a big one. I really like the show, thank you, but do you really dislike other ethnicity of people? Sometimes it seems that way. Mm. Well, I'll tell you like this. Oh, Lord, we're about to get cut off. No, <laughs> I, I, I had a change of heart at the beginning of the week. But I'm, back to, the the week. Week. But I'm back to the old J wow. since I've been watching. Insurrection. Yes, and since I the 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 and the thing with the police officer and the way they did that, like, yeah, I'm prejudiced. No, it's what it no, is. Not. She's not prejudiced. What it is is she hates how black people are treated differently, and everybody can see it, but nobody's doing anything about it. Okay, it that's makes it. her. It makes her want to be mad at somebody. She just don't know who to be mad at. Oh, I know who and, to be mad at. And then, like I said before, you go off for more so personality. Not the color of someone's skin. Like you just had an appointment, you got along very well with the. With uh, her, but she the that. only person I ran into in ten years, white person I ran into that was nice to me. And it's somebody not the that only person that I didn't already know. Yes. <laughs> yes. You said a, a new person she just met. Yeah. Yeah. She was the only one nice. Everybody else, I guess, is the way they did me. You when know, she, when you were uh, had your fiasco with the law. No, just the way they treated me in general. <laughs> you know, they they treat me, they treated me bad, and I just felt some kind of way, and I still do. But there I can get along yeah. with you if you can get along with me. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Like I don't care what color you are, or anything. It's personality that sticks out. I say out that all me. the time on this show. Me too. It doesn't matter. I'll personality you could be black not all black people is cool and no yeah. I, I don't like people some people black people, people too yeah yeah there's a lot of them I know like more too. so personality mm -hmm. I agree with that all right and then um, for Janice's music trivia so Davida Bush and Anthony Johnson senior um, are the first two winners to answer the questions correctly Yes. So we will be getting their prizes out to them soon, and I will post a new trivia question later on tonight. But you need to say what the question was and get an answer, don't you? Oh, uh, the one that Davida answered, it was... Uh, uh, Stephen Arlington. Steve, and well, yes, yeah, Steve Arlington. It was Slade was the answer. Mm -hmm. The band name was Slade, and Steve Arlington was the bonus question. Um, uh, it was the two members who formed the group, and then after the original Steve left, and Steve Arrington came in and changed the sound, and they blew up more. So, thank you, Davida, for answering that question. I will get your prize out to you soon. Yeah, I know her address. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not the driver. I don't know her address. Who's that address? I'm not the driver. I don't know about Millie. And, um... I'm mad we got cut off. Now our second video goes all short. <laughs> oh, but we did still go the time we wanted to go. Yeah, but I'm so. saying our second video go go be all uh, short. But thank you all for, for tuning, tuning in. in, and please watch the first video too. That way uh, you're not left out or missing anything. Justin, thank you for watching. You gotta make sure everybody check us out Fridays. Some Sundays at seven. You know, I'll definitely post ahead of time. And we appreciate the love. You know, like we said, we look like we're moving up. We're getting cut off, you know. But, no. <laughs> we made it when we get cut off during the live. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great and safe weekend.